everyone welcome back to a new video today i will continue uh, with the lighting design for the indoor parking if you did not see the first part uh, you have the link uh, in the description below uh, today we will continue uh, with adding more textures uh, texture uh, for the indoor parking and um, color as well we will uh, we'll talk how you can choose the color for example for the columns uh, draw the the signs on the driving path uh, establish the the driving path add cars uh, on the parking places and as well how to choose uh, the luminaires which are suitable for this uh, application so let's start first with uh, drawing the the signs on the on the driving path as you can see here i start to to draw the the signs already on the driving path and i will show you how to draw for example from beginning this these signs so you need to go on the uh, room elements and then draw a polygonal room element and then you just of course you i was just you go on 2d and then so choosing the draw polygon room element you just start from one corner to the sign and when you're ready you just close uh please bear in mind of the height so i would say in this case you need to go zero zero one and then here you go you have the sign here i need to ready the polygon because i miss one point and let's make it right here as well and yeah that's it that will do and now when you go on 3d uh, we can see the the sign here um, if we have it here i will just just copy and add pass with mouse and then of course rotate as we did in the other direction and then move and then you it's easy to place it on the on the right spot good so that that's about um, how you can draw a sign uh, on the on the diving path the next will be uh, adding colors to the columns which we have already um, added in the previous video and as well to the to the to the signs on the driving path usually they are um, marked with the uh, white color just to be easy um, to to be seen and as well it has a um, huge impact also on the reflection so using bright colors helps to 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 reduce let's say the the luminous needed uh, for uh, such application and it's much easier to be identified by the by the drivers as well so we go on the materials and then color materials and we need to go black and white and i will say we will go for the pure white or yeah also traffic white let's choose this one we just apply you can close it and then it's just drag let's say and wrap so you just you see the color of the columns it's already changing so i have to do for each of the of the columns i will not do it now as i don't want to waste too much of your time i just try to to show the principles how to do it and as well on the on the driving side as well good so this will be for the last part of this video i will add everything so change the color i hope that you find this information useful so also for the next when you need to do it you can do it easily by by yourself um i would just copy maybe two more signs to finish uh, this path i would just go, you need to go if you want to copy back on the drawing of the elements and when we control you can just select both signs and then copy and let's add it as well here and pass with the mouse this will be the easiest way how to to copy let's say in one shot uh, more more signs yeah now 
we have it as well here so it looks much better when we have already the path good next point is where we find the cars let's say let's uh, try to add also cars in this indoor parking um, you need to go on the furniture and objects and then select from here just to open the catalog uh, you can do outdoor planning double click and then we should have um, no sorry street furniture no then go back should be here but somehow i don't find the cars let's go on the street yeah so on the street planning you can find the cars so then just drag and drop as well and then you just need to rotate let's say the car on the on the position that the car is faced let's say in this case this car is exiting the parking and then you can just copy the other car here and this car is entering then you need to of course rotate it you can choose different car models and um, then you need to do it here of course i will just add i need to, we need to add the, the doors just to, to have it uh, not like a wall in this case so here will be an open door let's say i will cut the walls and then just to symbolize the exit and entries to the to the parking next i will say let's try to to make the driving path that's very important so we will go on this contour so we need to move back to the polygon and then i will say we can start from this part when it's you want to do a curve it needs to you need to go as smooth as possible on the point to point just to to look as best as possible you can use as many points interim points as you please So this it will it will take a while i will try to maybe to yeah so now we have it here so we can go until missing this step and then make it round it's important to have the driving path uh, because you can you need to add also the the color of um, of the of the let's say the asphalt of the driving path, and then it will give a better render of the of the actual driving path. So the calculation related to the lighting social will be more accurate than in the situation when you don't do this. So my advice is. To do the the driving path because yeah it helps and give you a better realistic perspective so and this is the driving path as you can see it let's move in the in the in the 3d so now the driving path it looks like like uh, solid because we need to change the height so here we need again to put 0 0.001 and then let's see it yeah so here we have the driving path of course we need to be more accurate let's see if i can put another one just to see also the signs i think the signs are need to place it a little bit up in this case and the other one as well just to look better let's say two yeah 
so you can see also the, the signs now in the, in the better way um, I will do the same with the other which I already inserted so you can just change here the height good so now we have everything done from the driving path uh, we will add the color later on of the, of the asphalt and we'll have a contrast of course with the uh, with the uh, white um, signs for the driving path here we will go for uh, of course dark um, concrete or asphalt of the for the driving path let's talk about the lighting so how to choose so you go on the light then select you open a catalog for example and here on the luminaire category i will suggest you to go on waterproof and clear room i will go definitely with the ip um, 54 meaning but i will go i will recommend even 65 uh, because the maintenance will be very difficult in this case for the for the parking so have an ip protection for the water and especially for the dust it's very very important because the maintenance in this kind of big indoor indoor parking are not very often done and then here you have two options the length of 1.3 meter 1.6 you have seen that they have a dedicated <coughs> luminaire for a parking system which if you read all the description you'll find as well that it has a detector which is very good because we don't know actually um, the traffic is very difficult to determine for indoor parking so then it's it's better to combine with a detector uh, sensor detector um, uh, for for the cars and then you can save up to high 70 percent of the total operation that's a lot and of course we will go for a wide beam distribution curve but join the next video where i will import uh, the luminaires and we will do the first trial uh, of um, the lighting calculation and let's see the the outcome so thank you very much for your attention please subscribe to my channel give a like to this video and until next time i wish all the best have a good day bye bye